I am Anil Kumar and here are two difficult questions on number patterns. So take it as a test, right? So this is indeed difficult test question for the students. The question here is describe the patterns and write next three terms. So let us describe the patterns first and then write next three terms. And after that I will add a question to this that is to write pattern rule right to write pattern rule and calculate tenth term from the rule from the pattern rule right so that will be your question to answer you can pause the video copy these patterns answer and then look into my suggestion so let's try to understand what these patterns are. The first one is 1, 3, 7, 15, 31. If we kind of take a difference, 3 minus 1 is, is 2. And then 7 minus 3 is 4. And then it is 8. And then we add 16 to get the next term. So we are not adding a constant number. In fact, the numbers which we are adding are getting multiplied by do you see that? So that should tell you what the pattern rule is. It is not very difficult to write the next three terms. You know, you have to add 32 and then 64 and get the next three terms. You can always get it, right? So to get next three terms, what you will do is, looking into this pattern, you can add 2 times 16, which is 32, and then 64, and then 128, right? and get the get the next three terms not a difficult task now the question really is to write a pattern rule so that you could get the tenth term well you already have quite a few one two three four five six seven eight you got two more steps you get the tenth term but the idea here is to write down a pattern rule use that rule to find the tenth term rather than by addition which we are trying to do here right think about hundredth term right so you need a formula so I'm looking for an explicit formula which will be your pattern rule to find the tenth term right so provide an explicit formula right so that is that is the question for you okay let's look into the next pattern the next pattern here is two three five nine seventeen so here we are going up by 1, then we are going up by 2, we are going up by 4, and then we go up by 8. It's kind of similar. Do you see that? So what we see here is both patterns are very, very similar. You can pause the video, think about it, try to find an answer, and then look into my suggestion. So what I will do, since we have two very similar patterns, I will try to provide you with an solution of the first one. So let's call these uh, terms as term number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So first term has got 1, second term is 3, third term is 7, fourth term is 15 and we are looking at a pattern where we are adding times 2 each time, right? So first we add 2, then 4, 8, 16 and so on. So I think 2 to the power of n has something to do with it. So what is 2 to the power of 1? It is 2. But how do I get 1? If I take away 1, what do I get? I get 1. For the second term, if I do 2 to the power of 2, which is 2 square, 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. Correct. 2 cube is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. That is correct. So pattern rule for the first one is... 2 to the power of n minus 1. You get the point? So therefore, using this formula, we can find the 10th term. So the 10th term will be 2 to the power of 10 minus 1. So as you know, 10th term is kilobytes. It is 1024. 1024 minus 1, you can use calculator, will give you 1023 as the 10th term for the first set of pattern, right? I like you to think about it. 
find a rule for the second question and find the tenth term using your rule. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.